What makes this house special is the timber frame ceiling. In this video, we're going to show you how we built the wood ceiling and this week we finished it up. To get an authentic wood ceiling like this, it really has to be built into the house. So what we did was bought some rough cut timbers from a local mill and hand planed them down and cut them into rafters. So they're basically just bigger, wider versions of a standard 2x12 rafter, um, but you can space them further apart. And then we just screwed them to our glue lamb ridge and to where they go over the wall. Um, from there, we just bought some two by thick tongue and groove and just stacked it right on top of the rafters and spliced it where the rafters are and um, nailed it right on top of the rafters. So this creates the interior wood ceiling. Anybody that's, that's ever hung drywall overhead on a cathedral ceiling like this knows that being able to work from the top down is so much easier. From there, we waterproof the ceiling and this also serves as our vapor barrier. And then we built a cavity for foam insulation. Now what's so remarkable about this is there's no thermal bridges in the ceiling. It's solid foam, so it's gonna heat really well. Um, and then we added an air gap and put the tin on top. So this is our specialty and how we build a roof and it really, is a showstopper in a house um, and it's also highly efficient and just an amazing way to build a roof system. The last thing is we spray foam all of the eaves and to get a really nice uh, vapor barrier and also to fully insulate those cavities and then we'll take a um, 1 by 12 or a 1 by 10 whatever fits in depending on the size of our rafters and the angle that they're at and just fill in that cavity with a wood board. We like to do this now because we can add the finish to it before the drywall's on. So it is tough working on scaffolding, but no matter how you look at it, you're gonna have to be on some sort of scaffolding or lift, even if you're drywalling. Isn't that pretty? So the wood we used was locally harvested and it's a spruce and it's very, very blonde. And um, But there was a lot of imperfections in it and we felt like we didn't wanna just put a clear coat on it. So we're gonna try using this aged wood accelerator on the ceiling. And what it's gonna do is bring out the wood grain and add some color to it. And um, Really excited about this product because it's super easy to apply. It's almost just like putting water on the ceiling. And um, it should go really quick because we have such a huge amount to apply. Thought this would be a good choice. Pump it up and that just got water in it right now. Pretty sweet. And that'll just get the product on there and then we'll back brush and wipe and roll. Could be a real bad experiment or a good one. <laughs> it's half a gallon. The sprayer was such an awesome idea because it put the product on the ceiling for us. So half of the work when you're painting something is reloading your roller or your brush so the sprayer put it on and it's such an easy to work with product uh, so much easier than working with the stain it's water based so there was you know, virtually no odors and um, we probably should have put gloves on but honestly our hands cleaned up right away as soon as we were done and we couldn't really break away to get more supplies once you start with any sort of stain kind of want to do the whole thing at once so that there's no lap marks. It was a lot of work. It was basically the equivalent of hand staining 70 farmhouse tables on scaffolding overhead. It took us about three hours to do all of this, but man, did it bring out all the wood grains and it had that beautiful neutral grain that we were going for. So you're probably thinking if the ceiling only took a few hours, what else have we been doing this week? 
Well, we've been doing a lot of small things like grade work and cleaning up the property. We got the garage sited. There was a beautiful tree kind of in the back of the property that we moved to the front of the house. So a lot of little things um, got done this week that didn't make the video, but still are very important to making this a really nice home. The good news is we got everything done where this house is ready to be worked on over the winter. So you will see us finish this house this winter. But it is hunting season in Alaska and we rely on wild meat to feed our family. So um, we're going to take a few weeks break from this house and uh, be back sometime this fall to finish it up. So thank you so much for watching to this point. We'll see you next time.